Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. We have finally reached a point in the advancement of our technology where we no longer can believe anything we see or hear. I mean, we can if we want to, but we can also choose not to, because the presentation of anything, in a photograph, a video, or an audio recording, is no longer reliable evidence of reality. Soon, we will not be able to rely on what we see right in front of our face, when we are taking a walk in what we believe to be the real world. In fact, we don't have to wait for this, it is already here. Holographic technology can already deceive us into believing something we see occurring in our own perceived reality. The technology probably exists to do this, although the holographic technology that we often see is flying whales in Dubai, which is not an example of existing technology, apparently it is just a run-of-the-mill CGI video, but it is coming, and you don't even have to hold your breath. Once we all know this is possible, many still believe it is not, then we will trust nothing to be authentic. In fact, the very word authentic will have no meaning. We will then clearly be living in a dream, not able to tell the difference between the dream and the dreamer. Maybe, indeed, we have always been a product of the dream, and the matrix of movie fame has always been reality. So, what is reality? I don't think we can even define that word now, as nearly anything we might come up with doesn't quite cut it. It used to be defined as anything objectively material. Or, as Webster states, having objective independent existence. Pretty clear, eh? Maybe they are starting to jerk around with the definition, like they are doing with a lot of other words. Seems like Webster wants to keep the meaning a bit vague, so that it could still describe a photoshopped version of a four-headed dragon as real, or maybe a devastating wildfire somewhere in Canada or Hawaii. It's all real, isn't it? Whatever is needed to back up any claim is merely created and presented. We'll believe anything as evidence if we first believe what is being said. Don't question it, gentle folks, just accept it. It is real. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. I've heard many rumors that certain celebrity types are really holograms. Hillary Clinton has long been dead for example, and what we see on the news, on YouTube, or whatever, is really a holograph. Biden is supposed to be played by a digital double as well, and the Oval Office we have the privilege to see on CNN, is actually a set somewhere in an underground facility on Mount Weather, just north of Washington DC, or maybe just a CGI recreation, painted electronically on a green screen. Whatever, who knows. This used to all be sci-fi fantasies. Not anymore. Everything I just mentioned could easily be executed through an iPhone app you can pick up for a few bucks, by subscription of course, from the Apple App Store. Technology has become mind-numbingly out of this world, cheap, and available to anybody. Like everyone else, I get a laugh out of seeing a painting of Beethoven singing Proud Mary, or the late Queen of England reciting a speech about the virtues of anti-monarchist anarchy but the deeper implications of what seem to be modern parlor games is rather chilling. I certainly don't need to cite them here, common sense would easily tell us what we are in for, and mark my words, this isn't a potential, it is a dead on fact. It wasn't that long ago that visual evidence was king. If you had a photo of your husband in bed with his secretary, no one would question it as proof that your husband was messing around. Not anymore. Any seven-year-old can create all the incriminating evidence anyone could ever wish for, with a few clicks of the mouse. So, what about more serious incriminations? 
How about war? Murders? The possibilities are endless. Not only will just about anything that happens be accompanied by photographic and audio evidence, soon, we will begin to see any other sort of physical evidence being manufactured and synthesized to back any sort of claim. No one will be able to tell up from down. These facts not only have implications of serious manipulations, but the subtle psychology of never knowing what is real and what isn't will be devastating. Everyone will have their own subjective take on nearly everything, everyone will be an expert, everyone will be able to believe whatever it is they decide to believe for whatever reason. No one will trust any of the usual evidential underpinnings of truth. I'll believe it when I see it, will have utterly no meaning at all. People will get casual about this as well. People will not experience any angst about any of it, they just won't care. They will shrug it off, as if it doesn't matter, they will see a video of a fleet of flying saucers lasering a city and not bat an eye. They won't care if what they see is real or not, they just will assume that nothing can be trusted, except what they have been convinced by others is real. Herein lies the real danger, whoever, or whatever, gets a hold of the collective psyche, and can convince it that what they say is truth, they will need no real evidence to prove their position. If people believe so and so is telling it like it is, then anything that person or institution holds up as evidential truth will be accepted as truth. We see this happening right now. The masses believe in the authority of a Biden, a Walensky, a Burla, a Trudeau, a Zelensky, and when a video of innocent Ukrainians being slaughtered by so-called public enemy number one, people will believe it. There will be no vetting, no reliance on common sense, no intelligent research to determine if what they are seeing is real or not. Nothing that used to be evidence of reality is trustworthy, thus we are all easily manipulated. The determining factor as to what is real or not is who said it is real, not concrete evidence. It's as simple as that. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.